प्रणमा सदा प्रभुपादुपदम प्रणमा सदा प्रभुपादुपदम इट्स एफ साधु संग इज सो पावरफुल इट्स एफ एलोन सो पावरफुल इट कैन सर्व ऑल द पर्पज एंड ऑल द प्रोसीड्योर्स ऑफ भजन यू आर सपोज टू टेक बट ऑल यू कैन टेक एवरीथिंग थ्रू एक्चुअल साधु संग but that doesn't mean you need not take diksha that is some exclusive cases some most exclusive case whole bhagavad ji mahapuran going to ultimately going to give us this bhagavat tattva vigyan which is no less than mantra diksha try to understand i mean when parikhit mara hearing total bhagavat full full attention absorbingly even it is written he is later less interested to go to drink water and take a rest so you see the tenacity you see the craving mood of parikit maharaj so do you think after hearing total bhagavatam totally from sukhdev goswami and sukhdev goswami before going blessing him blessing him and do you think that still now Parikit Maharaj, you will to approach some guru and take diksha. What is your adversity? What kind of adversity you are expressing? See, you don't understand what you mean by diksha. After hearing Bhagavatam, Parikit Maharaj getting the total knowledge of Bhagavat Tattva Vigyan. Otherwise, how it was possible for him to speak all in details about what he heard from Sukadev Guru Padmadma and speak in front of his own mother Uttara? in the form of bihad bhagavatam ritu that is my question to you you can play one drama i have heard bhagavatam so i need not diksha is kapat so at present this kind of quality is almost rare so we cannot take decision that i can hear harikatha from him okay my diksha so i need not you cannot say you cannot say you have no right because at present kalikal dangerous contamination in all everywhere in all nervous system everywhere there is contamination contamination all neurological system contamination flowing in this case you have no right to speak i cannot take diksha so diksha is a must rogunath das gosa is speaking you will have to take diksha sonathan gosa is giving so many documents you have to take diksha but actual diksha you will have to take not so called diksha you will have to take diksha very rare if somebody getting this kind of association and by this kind of satsanga if they can cut all material bondage everything and go high is rare case we cannot wait for that but usually this diksha procedure okay you will have to take hari naam diksha everything chant every day three time and go on go on doing hari naam gradually you can get this hari naam itself complete there is no doubt should be there if there any doubt you can do aparad that doesn't mean i can take only hari naam i cannot take diksha i am not speaking that what i mean to say hari naam itself is complete 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 by harinam mahaprabhu many time told by harinam you can get krishna prema only by chanting harinam you can get krishna prema which is rare you need not take diksha but you need to take diksha this kind of personality really rare on this art at present who can really feel harinam i get it is all complete and through each and every harinam he can meet with hari to do hari naam and to meet with hari is the same if this kind of quality is there in him then what he can do by taking diksha my question is going to get kishna prema na there is no such documents we find the haridas thakur is initiated by somebody there is no haridas thakur by hari naam 100% going to show us but that doesn't mean we can avoid taking diksha all usual 
I mean, uh, gradual promotional procedure, we will have to follow. Adho Ushadhyā Tataha Sadhu Sangha Atho Bhajana Kriya Atho Anatha Nibriti Swat Atho Nishtha Ruchis Tataha Atha Shakti Tataha Bhavaha This you will have to follow, which is prescribed in Rasamrita Sindhu by Rupa Goswami you will have to follow. No other way. You cannot break the rules and regulations. Oh, it is written in Sasam. This is you cannot do. But sometimes it can happen so, miracle. By Satsanga, you need not follow all those usual procedures. And how we don't know, you are getting all, you know, big power inside you to love Bhagavan, Krishna Prema. How is that possible? This is called satsanga, miracles of satsanga. And on the basis of this point, in Chaitanya Jyotamiti it is written that Labamatta Sadhu Sangesh Sarvasiddhi Hai. On the basis of this point, what I clarify you for a long time. On the basis of this point, it is written that Labamatta Sadhu Sangesh Sarvasiddhi Hai. Labamatta Sadhu Sangesh, it is approved. It is approved, is the evidence there. But in our, in general, it is very rare. It is true. It is true, Labhamattu Sadhu Sangha, if genuine Sadhu Sangha, can change the whole, change the whole history of your life, total. But it is rare. So usually, we will have to, in general, we, we will have to follow all the procedure laid down in Hari Bhakti Vilas, in Rasamrita Sindhu, we are bound to follow. We are bound to follow. We cannot ignore. So about Parikhid Maharaj, you have no scope to fight with Parikhid Maharaj. You are not, you are not initiate. You initiate. Papa speaking, he developed hundred hundred percent the Bhagyan. And Bas is Sarup Siddhi was there. By hearing Harikatha, Sarup Siddhi was there. So, what else you need? By Diksha also, finally, what is the target of Diksha? To help you to attend Sarup Siddhi. But you are not getting. So, those who are taking Diksha for 40 years, 50 years, but still they are not getting Dibba Gyan, Sarup Siddhi. So, what is the utility of Diksha? What is the utility of, Diksha? of their Diksha? They are not getting. They are going Aparad, offense. Whereas this, we find Bhagavad Parampara, if somebody gets into satsanga, satsanga can jump, can cross over this. It happens so. Sometimes it is a miracle it's happening. So, we find that Prahlad Maharaj actually not initiated by anybody, but really initiated through Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan. So, Prahlad Maharaj is getting Bhagavad Tattva Vigyan by hearing all Bhagavad Tattva, Bhagavad Katha from Naraji Maharaj. But at present this situation is so condemned. We cannot expect this kind of thing.